Hello everybody, and uh, as you can see this isn't going to be one of your normal Minecraft videos. Uh, I've had a couple questions over the past week or so about how I was able to uh, get Minecraft to run on more RAM in order for me to uh, film my Mindception video. So I decided I'm going to show you how I have just two shortcuts here set up. Um, one for regular Minecraft, one for Minecraft with more RAM. But first, before I go into the examples, I'm going to show you guys what I did. So in case you guys just want to watch me do it and not show the examples afterwards, that's just fine with me. So uh, go into your C drive, locate where you saved Minecraft. It doesn't create a Minecraft folder for you, so this is just something I created myself. And you, sh you should see the, uh, the Minecraft application. Okay. And from here what you should do is it creates a new file just a new text document and what you're gonna type into it actually I have to open this one for reference over here I have, an, I have another off-screen area that I'm just looking at what you're gonna wanna type in is java dot xmx um, you, it can be anything uh, I've seen a lot of people write the megabytes for it, but it's just easy enough to write. Well, okay, I'll show you what they write. They write like 124 M like that. You don't need to do that. Uh, Windows recognizes a G as just one gig. So normally Minecraft runs on one gig, but we want to increase that. So let's say we go to, you could go to two, you could go to two, you could go to four. I like eight. It's a little excessive because I know I'm never going to need that much, but it's just nice knowing that I'll never run out. And then the next number you do is you do the same XMX, and you have to do half of what you entered in before. And then you type jar, and you type the folder path for... I'm actually just going to copy and paste this. You type the folder path for where you can find minecraft.exe. It could be on your desktop or wherever. Mine just happens to be where I placed it. And next, you click Save As. I'm going to call it run.bat and make sure you click on all files. So run.bat is now being saved to my desktop. And we can leave that there because we also create another thing with that same text document. And now we have run.bat. If we click on run.bat, it opens up this box and it gives us Minecraft. We could just log in and do everything like that. But as you notice, it has that box. We don't want to we don't want to see that box. So, we do another thing where we run a visual basic script. Whoops. Didn't mean to double click that. I meant to open it. Bring it over here and I'll just start typing once again. So, you set w shell whoops, w s h shell what is what we're essentially doing here is just a uh, using Visual Basic to create a, uh, a window but what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the window invisible or basically tell the window not to physically open and show up on our screen if I could type properly <laughs> and I'm not gonna go into specifics about what exactly this is you guys can just copy it I'm not here to give you guys a Visual Basic lesson but uh, again, where I type the quotes, that's where you want to uh, enter in your file path for where you find your run.bat that we just made. And we just keep doing these stuff. And next we're gonna create the the shell and set it to do nothing, which essentially makes nothing. It, it doesn't show up as a as a, the command prompt. So basically we're running this file but without a window. So next we save this as um, anything you want. I call it script.vbs visual basic script like that. Exit out. It gets saved on my desktop. We can now delete this. This was just made for creating it. And then what you can do is you can put these into your Minecraft folder. I'm not going to do this right now, I'm just going to cancel. Let's just assume I moved them into there. And now you have them into your Minecraft folder. Next, what you want to do is uh, 
creates a desktop shortcut. So right here we see the shortcut. Again, it doesn't have a very nice uh, logo for it, so and well, yeah, it doesn't have a very nice logo. It has that weird little script. You might want to have something like that. So what we do, we go into properties, we click on change icon, and go through our folders once again to find the Minecraft uh, application because the EXE has its own logo within it. So we just go into here again, and click on it, and it will automatically load the uh, the icon. And there you go. You now have a desktop shortcut to run Minecraft with more RAM. So now I'll get to uh, demonstrating everything that goes on. First I'll demonstrate with while running regular Minecraft and uh, I'm actually going to be using the Explosives Plus mod to just demonstrate this real quick. And I know I don't normally use mods, I, I actually detest mods and don't like using them, but for the sake of just this tutorial, I'm going to show you this for a quick way to increase the amount of RAM that we're using and increase the likelihood that we will crash Minecraft. So there we go. Hmm. I also have single player commands on, so. And we're in the jungle. Okay, there we go. I, for, for some reason, I just don't like detonating it in the jungle, so. Um, Alright, I could do this because I have too many items on. I can turn creative mode on, put the Nova Bomb in there, and leave her. Wait, we still want creative mode on. <laughs> we want to be able to fly away from the explosion. That would not be good to be stuck in the explosion. But again, uh, look into my upper right corner right here. We have allocated memory and the amount of memory used out of the total uh, memory that Minecraft is able to use, which is right now 910 megabytes. And <coughs> we have about half of it allocated just for instant use. So once we click on that, it's going to explode and cause extreme lag. A lot of lag, so just bear with me right now and uh, watch the number in the upper right hand corner. Watch as it goes up. Uh, this has crashed my system before, but it also sometimes doesn't crash my system, so we're going to just see what happens real quick. It may be fine. It may just completely poop out on us. I don't know. And right now we're about 700 megabytes. You need to get over 900 megabytes for Minecraft to uh, come up with the error message uh, ran out of memory. So I don't think we're going to get there this time. But uh, okay, yeah. So the Nova Bomb, it, it's actually very uh, memory intensive because it's basically saving all these blocks to all of these individual chunks all at once. So it requires a little memory to do that. It is the most memory intensive function you can use in Explosives Plus, or at least as far as I know when I was testing through it. So right now we're going to save and exit and quit game. And now we're going to run Minecraft with more RAM. And I'm running Minecraft as I said before with uh, 8 gigs of RAM and as you can see it, it almost appears to load a lot faster uh, I don't know if that's just me or anything but also you can look up here we have 700 281 megabytes there's just a uh, I guess the missing megabytes is for indexing or I'm not so sure exactly on that but we're going to try and blow up a Nova Bomb once again. And there should still be significant lag, but um, we will not come anywhere close to uh, um, just taking out the amount of mega or just crashing Minecraft. But there is an increased uh, frame rate when you use this, it's, but it still noticeably lags. But 
you can see there's a lot more stuff going on compared to the last explosion. Oh, and right now we're over we're over 1100 megabytes of RAM. So I guess if we had run the same experiment in the same circumstances with the last one, we would actually have crashed Minecraft. We're at 1200 megabytes. And as you can see, it's we, we actually see a lot more of what's going on when uh, when we have an increased amount of RAM on our computer. And again, like I said, I'm only using about 1300 megabytes, so the most you'll probably ever need is 2 megabytes of RAM. So I guess you don't need to increase it that much, but just for my sake, I like knowing I have a lot of extra RAM in case anything happens, anything weird like that. And also I have 24 gigs of RAM on my computer, so I say, why not? <laughs> Just why not? But, like I said, we can see a lot more of what's going on. It's And there's a lot. We basically just... I, I don't know how, how I'd describe it. We're just more included in the explosion. We see a lot more of what's going on and everything like that. But anyways, guys, that is my tutorial on how to increase the amount of RAM you have for Minecraft. So, if you guys liked the video, please rate and comment to your heart's... Please rate, and as always, comment to your heart's content. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Captain Skewer, signing out.